Oh, hello, nurses and future nurses. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And on today's episode of Nurse Clemens B, I am going to teach you how to do oxygen therapy. That is oxygen administration, right? So sit back and watch this video till the end. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I remain Nurse Clemens B. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your shares, your likes, your comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So in today's episode, we are going to look at um, oxygen administration. And of course, remember that um, oxygen administration occurs when the patient is having difficulty in breathing or he has trauma or he has uh, disease conditions like asthma, congestive cardiac failure. Um, in this uh, procedure, we are going to look at step by step on how to administer this oxygen. So today I'm going to use this oxygen uh, concentrator to administer the, uh, the oxygen to my patients. Of course, your requirements must be ready. My oxygen concentrator is ready and my tubings are ready, either nasal prone or nasal face mask that you're going to use to administer this uh, oxygen, right? So now the next thing is for you after setting your requirements, the next thing is for you to identify the patient, of course. My patient is conscious, just matic, so I can take um, informed consent and identify my patient. So good morning. My name is Nurse Clement and I'm here to administer um, oxygen to, be, to you because of your condition, right? Um, so I'm going to use a tubing with face mask and put it on your face so that I will administer the, the oxygen to you. And I noticed that your oxygen saturation has dropped, right? So can you please tell me your full name and your date of birth? Or your name is Chukwe Meka Eze. So uh, what is your date of birth? First, 1999. So I have identified this patient. This is the right patient, right? So after identifying the patient, I have to place this patient in a cardiac position. Remember, this is a patient that is uh, suffering from asthma, right? If it is asthma or congestive cardiac failure, definitely this patient needs to have to be, have to be in a cardiac position. So let me place my patient on a cardiac position. I have to elevate the head end of the bed to um, 45 to 60 degrees or 90 degrees, depending on the prescription. Now that I've placed this patient on a 60 degrees Fowler's position, that is cardiac position. So I, the next thing is for me to um, check um, the prescribed liters of the oxygen. So I take my patient's prescription sheet and I check the... Okay, the patient has been placed on um, three liters per minute. So I keep it down. And also I check, before you administer, do not forget to check your patient's oxygen saturation. This you achieve it by using monitor or you use a uh, pulse oximeter, right? You on it this way, you on it using this button. I'm using this product, of course. So you only use this button and on it. After owning it, then you place it in the patient's thumb or you place it a uh, patient index finger. So I'm going to use the thumb to place it, then uh, to take my patient's um, oxygen saturation. So I will leave this pulse oximeter here so that it will keep monitoring the patient's um, oxygen saturation. The next thing is for me to uh, examine my patient's nostrils, right? To check if th there are mucus there, rashes or any trauma or bleeding from the nostrils, right? So I have to check my patient's nostrils to check if there is mucus. So before I touch my patient's nostrils, of course, I have to go and perform hand hygiene, right? I'm done my gloves, right? So follow me, let's go and perform hand hygiene. So now I've performed hand hygiene and I've done my glove, right? So I have to check my patient's nostrils, remember? I have to check for rashes and I have to check for mucus, bleeding or any tumor, anything blocking the nostrils, right? If there is anything and then I pick, I pick um, gauze to like clean if there is any mucus to clean the patient's nostrils, right? To clean the patient nostrils, then I discard. Next thing is for me to prepare my face mask to administer. So I connect my face mask this way, right? I connect my face mask, oxygen face mask, and I connect the tubing, right? Then the next thing is for me to make sure that your oxygen concentrator is functional, right? So I have to connect my tubing, right, to the humidifier, connect it to the humidifier, 
to the oxygen outlet that is being connected to the humidifier, right? Now I've connected my tubing. The next thing is for me to on the oxygen concentrator. So you, if you are using this type, you have to wait for a while before it ons, right? So remember, the prescription says that the prescription is three liter per minute, right? So I have to regulate my, I have to regulate the oxygen by turning it this way clockwise. Remember, you are seeing this ball inside, right? We have to push this ball to three. That is the prescription, um, three liter per minute. So I have to push this ball to three liter per minute, right? So this is three liter per minute, as you can see, liter per minute oxygen, right? So this is three. So now it is set. So how will I know that this is functioning? Remember when you are going to administer this oxygen, always, Observe the tubing. If there is any leakages, if there is any perforation along the tubing so that it's the oxygen will not be escaping. So you have to check. Another way for you to know whether it's working or whether the air, the oxygen is moving, you can bring it close to your ear. You will hear this wind sound, right? Bring it close to your ear. Please do not put it inside water to see the bubbles, right? So you put it close to your ear, you just feel you hear this uh, windy windy sound right then i know that the oxygen is flowing and i've connected to my humidifier and the oxygen is ready for me to administer to my patient so you place the face mark on, on the patient's face this way remember this elastic um, rope you place it at the back of the head of the patient make sure that it is being closed put it at the and you can press this way Make sure that it's tight on the patient's face, right? Mm -hmm. So now our oxygen is ready and we allow the patient to stay like this, to stay with the oxygen. The next thing is for you now to keep it. Remember we have taken the oxygen saturation before administering the oxygen. Now you keep recording the oxygen saturation. Maybe it can be 30, 30 minutes, one, one hour, 15, 15 minutes. You keep recording the oxygen saturation while the patient is still on the oxygen, right? So after when you place this on the patient, then you can come and record. Remember, you have to record the prescribed um, oxygen that you have administered. Uh, oxygen was set, right? Oxygen was set at 10 a.m., 3 liter per minute, right? And patient is still on it, isn't it? So after recording, if it is at the, in the ward, after recording, if it is at the ward, you leave the patient this way. But if it is during um, OSCE, so after administering this, you have demonstrated that you have administered the oxygen, then you tell your examiner that, I assume that the patient has uh, oxygen saturation now, it's normal, so I can disconnect the oxygen, right? Then immediately you what? You off the oxygen concentrator, right? You immediately you off the oxygen concentrator because it is OSCE. You are done demonstrating the procedure. Then you disconnect, you disconnect the tubing. So now you will tell your examiner that I am discarding use equipment by this by rearranging by rearranging the equipment because the next candidate is coming in, right? Because this is OSCE. So I the next thing is for me now to remove my glove. I remove my glove, right? And I will go and perform hand hygiene. So follow me, let's go and perform hand hygiene. So I perform hand hygiene. So this is the end of um, oxygen administration or oxygen therapy to my patients. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your like. Thank you for your share. Thank you for your comments. Do not forget that if there is any procedure you want me to do, please drop it at the comment section. Thank you for your support. Bye-bye.